I'm not going to waste your time. Here's how you can get a perfect defined physique without using any equipment. First of all, you need to know which muscle groups you need to work on to be seen as most attractive and aesthetic. What we're aiming for are broad shoulders, a thick neck, and a wide back. You want to have a small waist compared to your shoulders and back. For the following exercises, make sure to train every muscle group evenly so that you get good proportions and symmetry. I recommend you do three sets of 8 to 10 reps for weighted exercises and 15 or more for muscle endurance. Body weight exercises are so good because you can do them everywhere and don't need any special equipment. Let's start off with the most effective one, dips, and especially weighted dips. You can just use two chairs for them. Don't worry about weights. You can just put on a school bag and fill it with books to progressively overload. It targets all of your push muscle groups, your shoulders, chest, and triceps. It's the perfect exercise for everyone because you can continually add more weight. Find a tree or a park where you can hang onto a bar and do your reps. If you can't do a pull-up yet, do negatives. This means just jumping up the pull-up bar and going down slowly. Do this for three sets of three with two minutes of pause in between. Pull-ups are the best exercise you can do to build a wider back, and they also train your bicep. The pike push-up is a variation of the basic push-up, in which you focus on your shoulders. Get into the push-up position, engage your core, and bring your legs as near as possible to your hands. Then go down to the ground with your head and push yourself up. Also do normal push-ups with variations and added weights, like a school bag. Wide push-ups target the chest, while narrow push-ups target the tricep more. Decline ones make the chest and front shoulders work more and are ideal for building strong upper chest muscles. Don't forget your legs, but you also shouldn't train them as hard as Tom Platt's. Do squats and weighted ones, they train all your leg muscles. Calves, hamstrings, quadriceps, glutes, all of them. They also prevent lower back pain and injuries. This is one of the best exercises for your legs. Bulgarian split squats are basically elevated lunges. Since you have all of your weight on one leg, you will stimulate muscle growth a lot more than doing squats only. Take two dumbbells or bags and fill them with books or something heavy. Put your shoulder blades together and your arms straight and try to go as high to your ears as possible. This is one of the best exercises for more muscular traps, which will make you appear wider. As you can see, you can just use filled bags as resistance and progressively overload with them if you don't have dumbbells. In the same way, you can also do bicep curls, tricep kickbacks, and more. Lay on the floor or over a chair. Fold your hands and put them on your forehead. Put resistance against your head with your hands and curl your neck up. Again, you can also use bags as resistance instead of your hands. You need micro tears in your muscles to stimulate muscle growth. Progressive overload basically means increasing your weight over time to set more micro tears. The American College of Sports Medicine recommends the two for two rule. This means gradually increasing weight every two weeks when you're able to reach two reps more than your goal in your third set, which should be about eight to 10 repetitions. For example, you're lifting three sets of six for several weeks. In your third set, you can push out two more repetitions for two weeks in a row. After that, you can safely increase the weight you use they recommend increasing the weight by two and a half to five pounds for upper body and five to ten for lower body exercises. Train at least five days every week for about 45 minutes to an hour. For that, you can just use a simple push-pull leg or an upper body lower body split. Consistency combined with the last point is the most important part of achieving a great physique. That's why it's so important for you to set goals so that you can stick to them and have a clear vision of what your dream body looks like. Be honest, we all had this guy in class who had only done sports in a club or cardio and he looked like a toothpick. A lot of us hate it, but it's crucial. First of all, no, cardio won't kill your gains as long as you combine it with weightlifting. This is a myth that a lot of people believe to make excuses for not doing cardio. It actually has a bit of truth. Cardio can burn muscle if you do almost everything wrong with your diet and training. It's like saying that a credit card destroys your finances. Of course it can if you don't use it right. Do both body weight exercises with the bags as resistance Resistance and keep your cardio workouts moderate. Even Arnold Schwarzenegger did cardio in his Hollywood career so that he could burn calories faster and work his heart in shorter. Cardio is very important for your health. It has a lot of cardiovascular benefits and will improve the quality of your sleep. There are a variety of exercises you can perform. Shadow boxing, rope skipping, jogging, and biking are the best ones. They build a lot of stamina and endurance, which can reduce the risk of heart disease and stroke. Limit the time you spend doing cardio to no more than half the amount of time you you spend weightlifting each week and try to separate your strength training with it by as much time as possible. When you do cardio, only do it with low intensity and avoid training the same muscle group twice a day with cardio and bodyweight exercises. 
High stress levels over a long period of time, such as from your job, can have a negative effect on your muscle growth. The main reason for that is cortisol. Recovery and muscle development are blocked by cortisol. It blocks those body functions because it inhibits the release of testosterone. In a process called muscle atrophy, it can convert muscle protein into glucose, which means even backsliding your muscle growth. So just stay calm and optimistic in every situation. There are a lot of supplements that pretend to increase your testosterone levels or muscle gain, but most of them are BS that they came up with for the sake of advertisement. There are only two supplements that you should really use. First of all, creatine monohydrate is one of the best research supplements. It's safe for children, adolescent athletes, and people under 18 if they have a balanced diet and don't exceed recommended dosages. You may have heard that people under 18 shouldn't take creatine, but that's only because the manufacturers want to be excluded from legal liability. It helps maintain a continuous energy supply to your muscles during intense exercise. Also, it increases the gain of lean muscle mass. Creatine is actually nothing special. It's mainly in seafood, animal animal milk, and beef, but just not enough. These foods contain between 1.4 to 2.3 grams of creatine per pound. By the way, this is what creatine powder looks like. To fill up your creatine storage, the International Society of Sports Nutrition recommends a dosage of about 0.3 grams per kilogram of body weight per day for five to seven days. Then when your muscles are saturated, use three to five grams a day to maintain elevated stores. Most of us don't have enough magnesium anyway. Magnesium plays a pretty important role in our bodies. It regulates different processes, protein synthesis, muscle and nerve function, blood glucose control, and blood pressure regulation. Foods high in magnesium are whole grains, green leafy vegetables, but also dark chocolate. Supplement about 500 milligrams every day. It has been shown to increase testosterone after taking in 10 milligrams of magnesium per kilo of body weight for one month. Magnesium regulates blood sugar levels, which can boost your performance during exercise. It also improves the quality of your sleep, helps against muscle cramps, and boosts your bone and heart health. The most important thing is your diet. You need to eat a ton of healthy, nutrient-rich food to reach a lean physique and maintain it. Fruit sugar from things like bananas can give you an energy spike for your workouts quickly. Bananas, apples, grapes, cherries, and figs are the best foods for that. Because different fruits contain different amounts of nutrients, you should try to eat a variety of them to maximize their health benefits. You only need to track your protein intake because it's the most important thing for your muscle growth. Besides sleeping eight hours every day, take in one gram per pound of body weight, eat a lot of lean meat, like beef and poultry. Nuts provide you with lots of protein. Eggs, Greek yogurt, and salmon are also great sources of protein, but also contain a lot of essential vitamins for your body. Avoid highly processed food, saturated fats, and fatty proteins. Instead, consume healthy fats like olive oil, avocado, and flax seeds. You can't stay consistent with your diet for a long time without having a cheat meal in between. You can have a cheat day once a week so that you don't fall back on eating unhealthy food.